I can't say that I'm angry, but it is annoying when I meet men and they're just all in in the very beginning. They're saying everything that they want and then all of a sudden they ghost. How old they are you? ghost and they're How still out there just playing. How old are you? I'm 42. They're all in in the beginning and they say everything. In the they- very beginning. Okay. Yes, they're they're all in. They're saying, "Oh, I want this, I want that." And then after a month or two, you can just tell that they're still out there just playing around. Um okay. Um well All men are like that? I mean, that's what I'm trying to understand. I mean, uh, yes, it seems like it's getting like that. Yes. Really? Maybe it's where I'm located. Well, where you, where do you live? Dallas. No, no. I spent eleven years in Dallas, and Dallas has some of the most. It, anyway, forty-two. They're married, huh? No, no. They're Dallas, married. no. Dallas has some. I'll be in Dallas either this week or next week. I'm coming to Texas because we got a problem, and I live most of my adult <laughs> life in in Dallas. Where do you go? To church? What's happening here in Dallas? What, what do you go to church? Me and my girlfriend. What do you go to? Ch- uh, don't know, where do you go to church? Concord. Uh huh. When's your last relationship? My last relationship was about two years ago. Two years ago. And who ended that? I did. Why? (laughs) Because he ended up being married. What do you mean ended up being married? He was married when you met him. He was married when I met him. And I had no idea that he was married. So how old are you? Married. You're 42? 42. Mm -hmm. You can't run a background check on a dude? Hmm. Well, that's that's how I ended up. Uh, no, I usually don't do stuff like that. But that's how I ended up knowing that he was married. So basically, what you're trying to get me to accept is all the men in Dallas are fuck boys and losers, and you and you, and I'm just gonna say no man relationships are reflective because I know plenty of men in Dallas that don't fall into that category. Um, oh well, I haven't met them. Well, um, well, let's let's dig into that a little bit deeper. Do you want to be married? I do. You have any I children? Do. I don't. You want children? I do. I go back and forth. The older I get, I have to say that. I'm sorry? At 42? At 42, do I want children? Yeah. I mean, biological children at 42? Yes. Mm -hmm. How's that going to (laughs) happen? Well. Have you talked to your OBGYN? Well, I have a, a situation. I actually have to have a surrogate. Okay. Um, I, I froze my egg, so okay. I'm a, a cancer survivor. So, so am I. Right on. So it, it, the problem is men, not not the women, not you. What are you looking for in a man? What, <laughs> are, you look, what, are, you looking, what are you looking for in a man? Honesty. Um, I mean, we're aren't we all looking for the same thing? No nope. women. Nope. No. I want someone who's in the church. You know, I want someone really? who has a great job. Why do you I want, want someone to be in the who's church? easy on the Why eyes. do you want them to be in the church? Uh, I mean, they don't have to be necessarily like active in the church, and but I would like for them to be a Christian. I should say. Why? I would like for them to have the same faith that that I do. I think. Okay, it, so it, how's the uh, so you go to Concord? Is the pastor helping you find a man? He is not, and I actually know my pastor really well. I've never talked to my pastor about this. Really? How long you been in Concord? I, I, I mentor his daughter. <laughs> oh, but I, I know. I ask you how long you been in Concord. I've been at Concord for 10 years now. Right. And 11 you, years. Right. Concord, Concord in Dallas, and you're not working with a pastor to help you find a husband. I am not. Hmm. Does that make sense? Why? I'm sorry you said, why not? That makes sense. Why? You know, I just, it just never crossed yeah, my mind. Yeah, Brian yet. Carter. That's what I thought. Brian mm-hmm. Carter, uh-huh. Pastor it Carter. never crossed your mind. You've been there 10 years and you want your man to be in the church or from the church, but you're not working with the pastor of the church or men in the church. Are you in the singles ministry? You know, I was a are part of the, the sing- singles group. The, okay, are you you're a part I of- I was in the singles group for about six months, but um, everyone was just younger than me. And so, and I was about, I was 37 at the time. And everyone was late 20s to early 30s. Did you go to college? Yes, I did. Uh, what's the highest level of achievement? What's the highest degree level? I have a BFA. 
Okay, so um, all seriousness, all, all joking aside, you want a man who's in church, but you're not working with the church to help you find a man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, is it that you want a man in church, or you just want somebody to who is a Christian? Him? Yep. A man who was a Christian. But why? I'm sorry, I didn't hear the last thing you said. I said, but why? Why do I want someone who's a Christian? Yes, why do you? Because I want someone who has the same faith as me, who has the same beliefs as I do. I don't don't buy that, man, because if you did, you'd be working with the church to help you find a man. And that's the first thing you'd be looking for is a Christian man. Because uh, was your last boyfriend a Christian? He was. Mm-hmm. Mm. But he was married. <laughs> oh. mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> so you were committed. So what were you doing in that situation with that married man, Christian woman? <laughs> well, I did. <laughs> Actually, I oh, oh, I'm sorry. Did that, that, did that cut married. a little too deep? No, no, it didn't cut deep, deep I mean, at cause all. Seriously, he was man, just extremely I mean, deceptive. Christ- he was really Christianity, deceptive. Christianity becomes a lot with modern Christian feminist women. This becomes a way for you to disqualify men. But it's not the way that you really qualify men, as I've shown. Mm-hmm. By your own life. It's a way you disqualify men, but it's damn sure not a qualification. Right, Yes. So you're with a man for a year and a half. No, it's been a year and a half. So you, were, you were, how long? How long were you guys together? It was um, about seven months. Seven months. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> seven months. Mm-hmm. Uh, how many times did you take him? To I church? had known him for a while, though. I had known him. Oh, for... Brandon, not well enough. How many times did you take him to church? I'm sorry. How many times did you take him to church? I didn't. Huh? I did not take him to church. But you want a man that can share for your faith. Mm-hmm. Yes. But you didn't take him to church? I didn't. I didn't, because I'm I'm just kind of private with my life. For a while. Remember the first go back last year, guys. When I did when when I first talked to Tiffany Chanel in Houston. And then I talked to that one sister who went to PV and she was in her late 30s or 40s. I pull up the interview. Remember when I told her I knew her pastor, Tony Evans? Mm-hmm. I told you guys I know the Dallas scene very well. This is a mirror of that same call. Different woman, same scenario. Similar scenarios. Very similar scenarios. Dallas is littered with this. Ma'am, if you want a man who's really a Christian, why aren't you going to church with that man? Why isn't that man going to church with you? Why isn't your pastor helping you find? Why aren't you in a church that facilitates Christian relationships? You know, I just never thought about reaching out to my pastor about finding somebody. You know, I was a part of the small groups and that was about it. And you know, they were, everyone was younger than me. And so, I don't know. I just kind of like left it at that. Mm-hmm. Um, I've never really met anyone at the church outside of the the small groups that I was a part of. And I've just never, <laughs> I mean, I talk to my pastor all the time. That's not usually, I'm just never talking to him about relationships. So I submit that you're really not trying to find a Christian man. No, I am. It's just that. No, you're re- no, you're not. No, you're not. Absolutely, you are not. I'm just, I'm just laid it out. You didn't even go to church with the man you went to see the, la- the last time. Mm-hmm. So how can you care about? So where did Christianity come up in that? Well, we just, I mean, we prayed together. We just didn't go to church. Right. You also had sex there. together, too. Premarital sex. Fornication. I won't deny that, but. Well, exactly. With a married man. Ma'am, 
I'm saying I had no all idea. This. I'm saying, uh, like, you I, said you knew him before. Okay, you said you knew. I him did before. know. See what would have happened. Let, hold on, so let me hold on, hold on, hold on. See what would have happened if you'd have actually picked the man from the church. You would have known one thing: he wasn't married. He actually went to Tony Evans's church. He's a I member said, of that you, church. If you'd, have, if you'd have picked the man from your church, you'd have known he wasn't married. I hear what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if you took him to Concord, even though he went to uh, Tony Evans church, just slip. Oh, damn it. Oh, faith. Um, oh, uh, world, not world harvest. I'm going to another. I can't think. Of the name of it, but yeah, Tony Evans' church. Shout out to Pastor Haynes. Push it with. Um, That's Fre- uh, Freddie Haynes. Freddie Haynes. TD Jakes and I'm at the Potter's house. Uh, but the bottom, if you took him to your church, Concord is such a lot. If you took him to your church, somebody would be like, uh, that man married. You're right. I know. See, Christianity is supposed to shield you from all this, not open you up to all this madness for you to come and tell me that the problem is the men in Dallas. I would not let you visit that bullshit on them. When it shows in your life that the men that you picked aren't even lining up with what you say is important. And in practice, you're not doing these things. So Christianity cannot save you. You're just using it to filter out men that you don't find desirable. And this mm-hmm. happens too often down there. We get, no, I'm going to move you to the side because I don't know you enough to say this about you. So I'm going to move you to the side. There's so many women down in Dallas who are pseudo Christians, Christian feminists. It is just rampant with them. Dallas stinks with these women. They come in with their Bibles talking good, that good, 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 and they running through the Dallas like Jezebels. And then wanting men to be saved. All right, back over to you. At 42 years old, ma'am, if you want a man who's a Christian, uh, and it's an important part, uh, yeah, you need to really start working with your pastor or somebody in a church that has a thriving singles ministry where you may have a better selection of men. You may even have to switch church homes. If that's okay. really if that's really a, a determination, but at forty two years old, wanting children and all that other kind of stuff, ma'am, it, it's going. To, uh, I go back and forth with the with the the children thing. Okay, I'm like I enjoy my freedom, but the, right, you know, ma'am. I mean, I'll be honest, ma'am. Are you really cut out to be somebody's wife? Why would you say that? Do you enjoy? Why wouldn't I be? You enjoy your own. Enjoy my freedom. Oh, 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 don't check that. Whoa, whoa. Don't don't do that. Don't do what? Why wouldn't you be based upon what you said? You enjoy your freedom. You go back to Enjoy and my forth. freedom being able to just come uh, and go. Still. Enjoying your freedom. Not necessarily wanting to have a kid. Uh, you become somebody's wife. Having a kid and Hold on, ma'am. Totally as a different. wife, what is your what is your job as a wife? Your number one job as a wife is then what? Especially as a Christian. What is a woman's role on this planet? To cater to the man. Nope. To and take a, care of his needs. Nope. To be a helpmeet. Not to come and go as you wish. Not to have freedom. Uh, I'm not saying freedom and coming at come at, come as I, I want with a husband I'm saying more so like if I'm in a relationship with if I have a husband and we don't have children we can go freely I get it we can travel easily without children but if we have children travel. then we have to like travel. what are you talking like, about babysitter travel. and all you talking about stuff. traveling nas- you talk, talking about traveling internationally and nas- uh, domestically both what do you do for a living I'm an educator uh, you're a teacher? Yes. What are you in pre what are you in ele- uh, grade school, college? High school. You- high school. Um all right. Now I, I do know Texas make teachers make pretty good money, but they're not rich. I do a lot of things on the side. I do private lessons and mm-hmm. I teach group fitness. I so I asked you the ultimate question, ma'am, and it wasn't to insult you, but are you really cut out to be a, 
uh, would you, um, in your marriage vow, would you say love, honor, and obey? Absolutely. Uh, would you be submissive to your husband? Absolutely. Okay. So at 42, there are all kinds of situations you can work out. But the thing is, ma'am, it comes out ultimately down to the same thing with every relationship. What kind of man do you want? What kind of, uh, what kind of man do you want? And then that, the, what kind of woman do the men that you want, want? And what are you willing to do to get them? I don't doubt that you know what you want, but do, but do you know what the kind of men you want want from a woman? Yes, I. I mean, I feel like it's a it's a partnership, and what I give is what I expect to get back. A partnership. Why yeah. don't I know, why do Christian women keep talking about partnerships? Where's partnership in the Bible? I don't understand this Christian feminism stuff. Where's partnership in Bible? It's not a partnership. He has headship well, over you. Okay. I mean, I don't really think of it in that way. I think of any working relationship is give and take. I think of it as a partnership. That's what I'm searching for. I'm I'm searching for a best friend, a partner. Okay. Well, many Christian Not feminists. So. Many Christian feminists are. Any Christian woman is feminist. feminist. Most Christian feminists don't. They believe in they believe in quality and partnership, and they talk and move in lots of similar ways. And in my in my channel, if you've been around, how long you watch my content? Actually, this is my first time. Well, ma'am, I have talked to different varying versions of Christian feminists, like at least once every couple of weeks. So. Anybody who's watched my channel, they're probably having a good old time in the comment section like, yep, we know what this is because this is rampant in the black community. Black women want Christian men, but you don't want to live like in the order, the divinity in which God aligned us. You want partnerships. You want this different arrangement. Doesn't really work. This is why men in general, this is why many, most men have left, many black men have left the church. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, all right, but I'm, uh, I got to get on to the next person. All right. Well, thank you so much. All right. Have a good day though. You too.